Hey y'all, do you remember the leg lamp from the movie A Christmas Story? It was a sensual masterpiece. In my passive PC case video, many suggested I should turn it into a lamp. Y'all love lamps, so why shouldn't I make a lamp PC? And there's no lamp more iconic than the leg lamp. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own. But please don't blame me if your partner gets a little jealous or concerned for your mental health. I designed and printed out the parts to make the leg lamp and I'll be sharing the print files in the description so you too can risk getting a divorce just like me. Or if you're already divorced, at least now you'll have this lamp to keep you company because no one should be alone in the dark during the holidays. You can choose what color filament you want and I'll share the link to the one I used. The base and the PC frame were printed out in a solid piece, but the shin, knee, and thigh pieces are printed in vase mode. A single wall vase mode print saves filament and time and allows you to mimic the glowing leg of the original leg lamp. Look at how well these two parts dock. Once you have all the leg pieces printed, they need to be glued together. I use some modeling glue made for plastic, but you can probably just use epoxy or CA glue too. Or you could also plastic weld them together. If I were to make this case again, I would suggest using two part clear epoxy since the modeling glue I used ended up gummy and compromised the docking that I showed before. You can see me here struggling to get things to fit after I let the two parts dry for five minutes as instructed. But with steady and composed pressure, I was able to slide it in without any tearing or issues. Using a wetter or thinner glue would have been the better option. and don't be afraid to grip the inner thighs as you slide things into place. Normally it's more fun ripping stockings, but this time I'm using some scissors. Take your time fitting the stockings over the leg since it's a really tight fit. I bought these fishnet stockings used from a nice street vendor at a truck stop. You can probably just use your stepmom's stockings that you've been hiding under your mattress. I used hot glue to attach the fishnet stockings and used the edge of the high heels as a guide. I then cut off the excess right below the bead of glue. Doesn't the dry glue look familiar to you? I like it quick and dirty so I just quickly masked off the base before painting with some black acrylic I had around. If you're going to use a whole day and jeopardize your health to get a better paint finish, please send me a link to a photo of it. The PC frame requires heat inserts to attach all the pieces, the power button, and the motherboard. I love it when it slides in really smooth and hot, so I have my soldering iron at 300 degrees Celsius now. These heat inserts attach the base of the PC frame to the front and back brackets. This is the front bracket that has a heat insert for the power button and motherboard holes. The back bracket only has inserts for the motherboard holes. This build will use the ASRock X300W STX motherboard, an AMD Athlon 300G, 32GB of RAM, and Wi-Fi. It'll use a stock power button and LEDs. Normal length Wi-Fi antennas. You can use NVMe, but I'm just showing how it works with serial ATA drives. And any 25mm thick, 120mm fan should work. The assembly starts with this fan piece that holds the lampshade. The STL will be a little different to accommodate more lampshade styles though. Next up is the back bracket. The Wi-Fi antenna should slide right in like so. Now finger it until you bottom out the nut. If you need about 15 minutes to bottom out the next nut, don't worry, it's normal. You can make your life easier by plugging in the fans and power cables before moving on. Now I'm attaching the rest of the parts to the PC frame base. It's a little awkward, but the motherboard should slide right in with some massaging. Screw down the motherboard nice and tight. Then screw the power button nice and tight too. Snap the serial ATA connector in place, then you can screw the hard drive as well. 
spin the Wi-Fi antennas on and you should be done manhandling the PC for now. If your fingers are getting tired, just try focusing your mind on something else. Even without the leg, you now have an STX frame that will keep nice and cool. Here's a warning about drying your filament even if it's new out of the box. My original plan was to cut black yarn to mimic the tassels from the original leg lamp, but a friend of mine I play Apex Legends with suggested I should just print them out instead. This is how I welded the pieces together, and I'll just cut it to length when I need to. I used hot glue to attach the fake 3D printed tassels to the lampshade. I bought this lampshade from the second hand store, and most lampshades with 3 or 4 wires that attach to the top should work with this project. Do y'all ever buy underwear at the second hand store? Let me know in the comments below. I designed the fake tassels to be thin so they can be cut to length easily and print as a quickie. Some people have a gift for guiding themselves into a hole without looking, but to avoid any issues or embarrassment, visually check the hole you're working with and become familiar with it. If it's limp, you can still shove it into a hole by using your fingers as an aid. Here you can see me getting into a solid rhythm with my finger, as I try to finish out the task of inserting this long LED strip in the hole. You may doubt it, but this power plug can fit in the hole even with the LED strip already inside. Sometimes you'll never know your limits until you just try. For instance, shoving this HDMI cable in the hole was no problem. And the cables bundle up nicely within the passage that I designed in. Do you like the feeling of stockings under the slacks you wear to midnight mass? Let me know in the comments below. You'll have to slide the cables through the passage hole in the PC frame base before you can set it in place. By now, I'm sure you've gotten more confident about fitting more through holes than you're used to. There's a little lip that will catch the leg and secure everything together. It should fit nice and snug and not slip off. Once everything is plugged in and set into place, you can simply just wrap the light strip however you want. I didn't even bother using the adhesive backing here. Make sure your Wi-Fi antenna is erected in the proper orientation based on where your router is located. Then the lampshade is finally placed on top using the grooved guide tabs. You'll now be one of the lucky, or unlucky if your partner files for divorce, few to have a leg lamp of your own. To get turned on, just slowly guide your hands up to thigh and just reach up and give that special little button a press. You don't need the PC components to enjoy the lamp. I'll provide some spacers in the files to take up the fan space. For Gile, this project kinda is, so be careful around it. Whatever I use to make this project, I'll post in the description below, so make sure to check that out. This was really fun to make, and I learned some new things along the way. And since this is the season of giving, I hope you all enjoy the STL files as a gift from me. I've been showing the progress of this project to friends and family and everyone got a giggle out of it, so that makes me really happy. You can bet I set this piece out by the window so that my neighbors could see just how classy this house is. I want to thank you for watching my video, and I hope it brought a smile to your face, you learned something new, or got inspired to do some wonky projects yourself. I try to respond to all your kind and helpful comments and questions, so please don't hesitate to write in my comments below. And if you like this video, why not give it a thumbs up? I'd really appreciate it. If you've been watching carefully, you probably saw some hints as to what I'll be sharing next. So stay tuned for that by subscribing if you haven't yet. 
Thanks again for watching, and wherever you are this time of year, I hope you're surrounded by loving people that support you and help you flourish to be your best self. Happy holidays and a happy new year to everyone. Can't wait to show you what's next.